sick chicks down and hey y'all welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with y'all the story of how i had to have my gallbladder removed oh my goodness i i remember the day that i had my first and last episode that caused me to have to go to the er and ultimately find out that i had gallstones so if you don't know anything about your gallbladder your gallbladder is located on the right side of your abdomen and it sits underneath your liver your gallbladder produces something called bile spelled b-i-l-e and what bile does is it helps break down the fat that you get from food and it breaks it down in the intestine it breaks down that fat in your intestine so i will never forget <laughs> waking up one day i rem i remember waking up one day and feeling like i had a little bit of cramping it didn't start it didn't start off as a 10 my pain level so my pain level started out at about i'd say a four or five i was uncomfortable and i kept feeling like i had to use the bathroom like I just felt like I had to use the bathroom. I would go sit down on the toilet and nothing would happen. And I would go back in my room. The cramping just, over time, it just got worse. Like, throughout the day, it just got worse and worse. And it was it was so bad because I didn't know what to do. I couldn't get it to, you know, if I sat down on the toilet, it wouldn't come out. If I tried to, you know, I tried to see if I had to, like, you and maybe I could like throw it up but it wouldn't come out that it wouldn't come out so I just remember just constantly going back into my room and I was laying down on my bed like almost in like a fetal position and then I just kept moving trying to change like maybe if I lay this way the pain would go away maybe if I laid that way I didn't know what was wrong with me. now I have three children I've been through child labor, child pain, but that pain for me was honestly the worst. It was the worst. So what ended up happening was I had to call my friend, have him come and drive my car to take me to the emergency room because my mom had my kids and I couldn't, you know, she couldn't take me and I was just in so much pain like I can't even explain it. It was higher than a 10. It was literally like I probably like 500 like <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> we are at I'm talking about pain. So he dropped me off. He took me to the closest ER. He dropped me off. I went inside. I signed up the whole time I'm sure they probably, these people probably thought I was crazy or dramatic. Like, they just didn't understand. But I was, like, slumped over, like, oh, signing my name. They're, like, on a scale of one to ten, how's your pain? I'm, like, look at me, like, I'm, this hurts. Something is wrong with me. I know something is wrong with me. And I, I thought to myself, like, well, what did I eat? So, the day before that all that happened and the pain and everything I don't remember eating anything out of the ordinary like I probably had some pizza or something like that nothing like I didn't have a whole day where I picked out where I ate um, you know fattening for breakfast lunch dinner nothing like that so I didn't know like I really didn't know what was going on like I thought the world was over like my life my life as I knew it was over and I wasn't coming back. That's how bad the pain was. I had to call out of work, you know, let them know I wasn't coming. Like, it was really bad. So, I, after waiting in the emergency room for probably a good hour, hour and a half, because I was all over the floor. This is how I know I was in pain because I don't even... Ew. Like, I'm not laying or touching the ER floor. I was laid out on the floor. Like, it's just an undescribable, like, 
I, all I can say is just imagine like cramping and if you've had kids just mix a little bit of the pain of a contraction in there with like the feeling of like getting clipped up by a car or something on your way to work I don't know <laughs> it was terrible it was terrible so I finally got to the back and you know they asked you all these questions you know want to get your history and all that well, what did you eat and all that stuff and I'm like I don't know you know I can't I didn't eat anything that would do this to me I've tried using the bathroom I've tried throwing up and nothing will take this pain away so they sent me to go get a sonogram so I had to get a sonogram and they looked all inside to you know see what was going on and that's where they told me that I had um, gallstones but they thought that they were small you know it was like a small gallstone and they gave me some medicine of course and sent me home um, they also gave me a referral to a surgeon because you know if you have gallstones I believe that's something that they will do they will give you a referral to go to a surgeon so the surgeon can you know do more tests look at you see what they find and see if they feel as though you need to have these surgically removed so I made an appointment like right away literally right away probably like that next week uh, in like three three to five days I made an appointment and I saw the surgeon and he did his test and he you know just basically explained to me that he could schedule me for surgery or since the pain is gone, I could wait, but that these episodes would continue, possibly. Like, if there's always a chance that you'll have another episode, and, you know, you'll go through this pain all over again. You'll be back here. So, it's really, like, it's up to you. So, the surgeon's not going to say... Yes, you need you have to get surgery. I mean, of course, unless it was there was some other more severe issue that the surgeon saw that would prompt him to say, "You need to have surgery tomorrow." So he basically told me, "You know, it's up to you. What what is you want to do? Do you do you want to go ahead and go forward and schedule a surgery, or do you want to wait?" And I just immediately went back to feeling that pain, and I said, "No, I'm not waiting." please take the gallbladder I don't need the gallbladder and take it so I made my appointment to get my surgery I literally went to the emergency room in December and had my surgery in December I did not wait I scheduled everything with my job with my appointment to make sure that everything was in place so that I could have a, a two to three weeks off um, recovery time for your to have your gallbladder removed is they say a minimum two weeks so it could be a minimum two weeks two three weeks and then you're able to you know go back and resume normal activity like any surgery you have to have like your pre-op so you go in basically they take blood they ask you questions about your medical history let you know what will happen the day of surgery and just you know go over and answer any questions that you have so I did that the day two days before my surgery and then it was surgery day so I never this is the only surgery that I've ever had so it was having my gallbladder removed so it was my first surgery and I was very nervous because I don't want to get put to sleep like to tell you guys a little bit about how they remove your gallbladder your gallbladder they they use something called I believe it's called liposcopy is what it's called um, I may not be pronouncing that right but they basically take these they make small incisions on your abdomen and they put through these I guess you can almost like prongs I guess you would say and like they have like a camera on the end of it which allows them to see what's all going on inside of your abdomen and they um, put air in there to blow it up so they can see everything and essentially they take it out through your belly button so when they took mine's out they take pictures of it and they show you and I wish I still had the pictures um, I'm going to try to find them 
and I'll show you guys a picture if I do if I don't I'm sorry but they basically took out two um, one was about this size right about this size um, and then the other one was a little bit smaller that I had inside my abdomen and I when I saw the pictures like when the doctor who did my sonogram in the ER when he you know looked over my report and told me oh you have just a little small small gallstone I'm like okay but when they took it out and I actually saw the picture it was not small to me to have something like that sitting inside of you it wasn't small at all so um so yeah so I ended up having it removed um they stitched me up everything went fine um I left the hospital so it's in and out surgery you go in you come out the same day prior to having to have this surgery I didn't I ate just like any other person I would say av the average person eats I do um, I would eat home cooked meals as well as things outside of um, the home carry out and stuff like that I did I will say that um, I feel fine I don't have any issues with digesting anything I don't have any issues with like acid reflux I don't have indigestion I don't get that I don't get heartburn I don't have any of those issues so I mean I guess everything is fine <laughs> you know I don't I mean I definitely should be looking out more for what I eat which is what I'm trying you know what I'm trying to do now anyway but I guess that's one thing that you would need to do is probably change your ch try to change your diet a little bit so I eat so much greasy and fatty foods you know just limited I would say um you know because I don't know what would happen like I don't I've never heard a story yet about people who got it removed and um they have issues but I have no issues after. I feel good. I'm super glad that I did it. Um, if you are a person who, if this may sound similar to you, so like if my story sounds similar to yours where maybe you're having these episodes and you don't know where they're coming from, where you're just, your stomach is cramping, you know, using the bathroom isn't helping, you know, trying to um, throw up or get it out, your system isn't helping, and you have those every now and again and maybe you take some pain medicine and then it goes away and then you may get it again you know I just say go get checked out ask your doctor to check you out to see if you have gallstones um, because they will make you sick they will make you feel nauseous so it's just one of those things that you can definitely live without and you know hey like Get yourself checked out if that's something that you're experiencing. If you're curious about like scarring, I don't have any major scars. Like I have like from when they did very tiny incisions. You can kind of see it there, but not really. I know back in the day, my dad, his is like a long scar that's like crosses his, crosses his belly. I didn't. They don't do that stuff anymore. I guess back then they used to just cut you open and take out your gallbladder and, so, and stitch you back up. Get it removed. Get it removed. If you have gallstones or if you've been to the doctor and they told you you have gallstones and maybe you haven't had an episode, you're going to have another episode. And when you do, you're going to wish that you had just gotten them removed. So I just didn't want that to be my story. I didn't want to be like, oh, I had two, three, four episodes of this. No. So I nipped it in the bud right then and there and I got that thing out. <laughs> so if you guys have any more questions, I guess if I didn't say something or explain something right, like let me know down in the comments and I'll try to help. Like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.